Well, hello, and welcome to this exercise on uh, uh, circle theorem, in which we're taking things like uh, alternate segment and opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, and also angles at the center of a circle and angles at the circumference of a circle. So here is our question. Uh, it says uh, A, B, C, D lie on the circle center O. So A, B, C, D lie on the circle there, center O there. And it says angle AOD is 62 degrees, this one here, at the center. Angle BSC is 42 degrees. And angle DCQ is 8 degrees there. And it says find angle ODA. ODA is ODA, this one here. Find ODA, this one here. Right. We know that the angle uh, there is 62 degrees. And this is the radius. O D C radius, so it's O A. So they, they so they must be equal. So those two lines are equal, which means that they both an isosceles triangle there. Uh, that being the case, these two angles we add up to 180 minus 62 because angles in the triangle add up to 180. So these two angles there will be 180 minus 62 degrees there. And because the angles are equal, so that so each of these angles, in this case, this one here, would be a half of 180 minus 62 degrees, and the answer is 59 degrees. Right. For B, we're asked to find the angle ACD. Okay, the angle ACD is this one here. Right. Now, we know that the chord AD subtends the angle 62 at the, at the center. Now, the same chord... So the angle, uh, an angle at the circumference, and that should be half of the angle at the center. So this angle here has to be 31 degrees there, half of 62. Now, we are, asked, we are told that angle PCB, this one here, is 42 degrees. It's supposed to find angle, B, angle BAD, all of this there. Now, this is the clue there. So if, that's, if this angle is 42 degrees, and it's alternate segment to this line here. So this is alternate to this one here. That's 42 degrees there. So that gives us a clue. So if that's 78 degrees there, and this line will produce an alternate segment there. So this angle there must also be 78 degrees. So 78 plus 42 will give us 120. So this angle there is 120 degrees there. Yep. Yeah. Right. Now, there is an alternative, an alternative method for doing this, this same um, problem there. Right. We know that's 78. We know that's 31 degrees there. We know that's 42 degrees given to us there. So we need to find this angle here. Okay. So angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Uh, 78 plus 31 will give us 109, 109 plus 42 will give us uh, 151 degrees there, so that's 151 degrees. So this angle has to be 180 minus 151 degrees, which is 29 degrees. Uh, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, this one plus this one, add up to 180. So 29 plus 31 give us 60, which means that this angle has got to be 180 minus 60, and we get an angle 120 degrees. Well, try to say, make sure that's okay. Thank you for watching, and please, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.